Well, Joe, it's been a little while since we last spoke. How are you finding life out in Vegas at the moment? Yeah, Vegas life is good. It's really good to be back to get some nice weather. I'm reconnecting with Salas back at um, Salas Boxing Academy and also doing some work at the UFC facility. So, yeah, back in um, my comfort zone in um, training camps. And uh, things are things have been going really well. And are you back in pretty much full training now, full boxing training? Yeah, full boxing training. And, um, yeah, it's pretty much full camp. But um, it just means that I'll be hitting the ground running when I have my date announced. And then, um, you know, I have have ironed out all any like things that I need to work on with Salas and making sure I'm, you know, going in there. Um, because this year coming up is going to be a big year. So I need to make sure I'm ready for these fights. Um, particularly when I'm... Yeah. The last fight you had was in July. Was there any frustration that you're not going to be out this year and it probably will be the start of next year now. Yeah, um, I was hoping to get um, a fight before the before the new year, like before Christmas, preferably, but um, that hasn't happened. So um, I'm just getting ready for potentially fighting in the in the new year. So just getting ready, making sure I've, I'm, I'm um, working on any weaknesses and any like technical errors <laughs> and just working on them and making sure I'm you know, back punching properly and uh, learning more stuff. Uh, and how do you reflect on that last performance against Carlos Takam? You got the job done. It, it was tough at times, but do you feel like you laid down a, a marker there? Or do you feel like there are room for, there is room for you to improve? Yeah, I think there's room for improvement, definitely. And, um, you know, due to feedback from Salas, he, he thinks he could have, you know, uh, he, there's a few things he could have worked on uh, for that fight. And, um, yeah, so, I, but what I'm working on now is really good and I'm getting improving every day, every week. I'm levelling up and so I'll be ready when I get um, to get the next fight date announced. And what's the thinking with, with working with Salas? Because he's been involved at, at various junctures of your career, hasn't he? Yeah, so he started off. I started off with Salas, and um, you know, I've come back full circle round. I went, uh, had a had the privilege and the opportunity to train with uh, Abel Sanchez when uh, Triple G was in in camp still, and uh, and Adam Booth uh, when I came back to England, and now I've gone um, full circle, and I'm back with Salas and Steve <laughs> again. And when you're looking at a big 2022, which you said yourself. How do you think that starts next year? What p- potential opponents have you been looking at? Um, uh, well, there's been a name, a few names been you know, thrown in the hat and stuff, but I'm looking for the big names, the guys at the top. Like I see my name being mentioned with Tyson Fury. And um, so, yeah, that's a potential fight. And also there's Usyk. Just Joshua still about this, uh, you know, some pretty heavy, um, good fights. Cut, um, it, this this right right here, right ready for ready for taking. So um, it's pretty good names, and I should be in some good good exciting fights. It was quite interesting because I know you're quite close with, with Tyson Fury, but you did put out on social media that you're free February March because we know he wants to fight. Then we're not sure yeah. what's going on with the WBC, so. Is that a fight that you would really like to take in February if, if it was offered to you? Of course, yeah. Um, come on, it's for. I, I want to get my aim in professional boxing is to you know, be world tight, uh, world world champion, and um, etc. So, them fights that get me closer to that goal, then that's you know what I'm what I'm. All about, and especially if it's this full world title, then I'm definitely game. Uh, what do you see happening in that fight if you were to take on Tyson Fury? I mean, it's a fascinating matchup for the fans. Yeah, it's a tough fight. It's a you know very tough fight. Tyson Fury is um, very skilled, and he's a tall, big, strong, tall guy. 
Um, he's got a long range. He's got plenty. Of, you know, he can switch, hit on both uh, both southpaw and orthodox. And his skill sets, you know, really good. His mindset as well. So it's going to be a, a real big challenge. But um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Were you a little bit disappointed that Joseph Parker didn't take the fight of you when you consider where he's ranked? That fight against Derek Chisora on paper doesn't do a huge amount for his world title aspirations, whereas a fight against you would have put him in a great place if he if he was to be victorious. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting fight. That's a great fight. Yeah, I'd like to fight Joseph Parker. Um, that's another one. But he, but he yeah. didn't seem to want it though, because you called him out and he. He, he sort of said, well, I'll agree to fight Chisora, I'm going to fight him again. Yeah, well, I guess potentially after that fight, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how boxing works. I bought, you know what boxing, you don't even know what, what's going to happen. So um, we'll just see. Just keep posted and see what actually pans out in the end. I wanted to ask you about that, actually, because since your last fight against Takam, it feels like so much has changed. You've had Anthony Joshua taking on Usyk, losing his belts, and then you had a, a brilliant fight between... Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. How do you feel like the, the heavyweight scene has changed in the last few months? Um, yeah, there's some, you know, interesting fights that have just cropped up out of nowhere. So, but it's, you know, the heavyweight division is always exciting. And um, especially now, all the, all the good fighters are in the UK. So it seems the heavyweights anyway. So, um, many good fights to be made. And um, I'm in the right place. And at the right time, so it seems. And has there anybody spoken to you about a potential fight with, with Fury since what happened with the WBC last week? Because I think everybody thought that Dillian White would get this fight with Fury, but, but since then it, it's slightly more unclear. So I wonder if, if talks have begun when it comes to, to a potential fight against Fury. Um, a potential fight against Fury. I mean, I think that's quite an, an easy fight to, to make, uh, you know, with my team and his team. Uh, should should be able to make it happen, and um, yeah, I'm just hoping that it will happen. But I'm I'm not sure about February, and uh, you know, this talks of Parker that would be a good fight as well. So I'm just going to see what happens. Just like make sure I'm I'm ready for that opportunity. That's why I'm out here. And as you say, you're out there in America at the moment. We've seen Tyson has trained in America over the last couple of years, and even AJ was out there training with a number of different trainers in recent time. Do you really feel the benefits from, from going out there to America? Well, me personally, I, I just like um, to be out, to be on a training camp somewhere a bit different than, because what I found back home is it gets, you know, it gets a bit monotonous and you're like in the same, you're a same space, living space and you're going to the gym and I don't know. It, um, it's nice to get out to Vegas and get some sunshine and, be a, a different kind of place and I don't know I think I, it brings out the best of me because I'm in a new environment and I've got to you know there's certain things I've got to do with training and I don't know it just seems to all like fit together better as a training camp and do you feel like at your age with the experience you're getting with, with the training camp you're in now you, you are getting towards that point where where you are reaching your peak fitness as a boxer but in terms of the, the knowledge the insight that the boxing IQ you built up as well. Yeah, I think like right now I'm obviously my uh, my peak. I'm I'm probably at my peak, and um, so, but then I think there's you know I'm still young and well I still feel young and, and fresh, so I can still pick up some more skills and learn a lot more. So I'm just keep on improving upon what I've got and just working with Sadas to to bring out the you know, the next stage and next steps and new skills to bring into the next fights. What sort of date do you think you're looking at for that return? Do you think it will be early next year? Yeah, February. February is a good good shout. So it should, should be around that time. And when it comes to, to Dillian White, do you think he's got a, a part to play next year? Yeah, I mean... I, I, I'd like to see him get his uh, to get a world title shot, but at the same time, yeah, I'm I'm here as well, so I'll be uh, be trying to shh, get my way in there too. <laughs> the the Brits are just so well placed at the moment. You've got yourself number one of the WBO. You've got Dillian WBC interim champion Daniel Dubois number one the WBA. 
is it exciting to be part of what could be a, a historic 2022? We've had some brilliant fights already in the last couple of years, but but it could be a historic year or two for the heavyweight division when it comes to the Brits dominating at the top tier. Definitely, yeah. Some big fights there to be made. And um, you never really know, like, it, like with heavyweight boxing, that's why it's so excited. It only takes one punch to turn the fight around. And... Yeah, there's this. It's not like there's, you know, not any exciting fights to look forward to. They're all exciting fights this time, at this stage. And at this stage, when it comes to, to fights you take on, would you only take on fights now which are which are going to benefit you, which are going to be world title fights, which are going to be world title eliminators? Do you feel like you've had the tune-up fights, you've built up the experience you need to? Now every fight has got to mean something. Yeah, kind of, but at the same time, I've got my WO mandatory, uh, sorry, number one position in the WO. So I want to hold on to that and make sure I, I you know, get, get use that shot wisely. And um, so, yeah, I can have, you know, like a keep busy fight that's not going to be a behind, like really high risk. So I can um, hold on to my position till then. Is that quite a pleasing thing for you now? Because I know in the past it has been sometimes difficult for you to get opponents because nobody wants to take you on because they know what a difficult fight it's going to be. Whereas now, I guess you hold hold more of the cards. Yeah, and there's like something to be gained from beating me uh, or, or trying to beat me. 